What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Dust and Elysian Tale. We continue our way through the Ceremon Caverns here today, and last time, of course, we made our way through the little mushroom field, or what were they called? Bubble sprouts? They're like spewing their red goop at us. Now, why did that guy drop mysterious wall chicken? That's kind of strange. But anyways, rock our way over in this direction. One annoying thing about the dust storm is if you're trying to like do the, the little projectile thing, but you're, you're in the middle of a combo, uh, a ground combo anyways, sometimes you have the tendency to like do that instead of activating the dust storm. That's kind of annoying. Anyways, the screen leads over to this little tunnel, which we can't access yet, but we have Mr. Sheepy on the other side. So that's something to keep in mind. Later on when we come back here, well, we're going to have to come back here, rather, to uh, say hello to him. But obviously, at current, we don't have the means nor the reason to do so. So, yeah. Just fight our way back in the other direction. More mysterious small chicken. See, I didn't think monsters dropped healing items, but th this particular group of enemies is actually dropping quite a few. It's kind of strange. Oop, blue mushroom. Another troll. Oh, and the little dude. Oh, I'm ah, trying to save your life, you ungrateful little prick. You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. Or this battle will be over before it begins. Wait. No, I failed. There's another one. Let's kill this guy. No, that was blue goop. I could have used that. Stay away from the red. I want the items, though. Stop it! Stop it! Oh god, no! Perry, kill him! Kill him! Oh god, that was tense. Holy jeez. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. That seems like a good idea. I'm pretty sure there were not true tr two trolks in the on uh, normal mode. That made things a lot harder. That was that was inc It was over pretty quick, but that was really hard. Mud pot. I guess these are. This is like a, an underground town. I didn't think those monsters were More smart sheep. enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Uh, so... There he is! Aha. Uh -huh. Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Oh no, those things that saved your life. Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. They know how to jump on the surface? Oh man. Does see that I can fly, right? Even better. Sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! Heavens for Fend! Trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm Not the spoon. Just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. 
I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. It's not a very kind welcome. That's enough, Bopo. You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again. Mama, I've seen them fight. They even got themselves a talking sword. I bet they could help. Your How do you know it talks? I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Stop saying that! Pa's gonna die if we don't do something! Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. Hmm. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So... You're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? That's the plan. Our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. They were talking about on a, a few episodes ago about how the rivers were drying up on the surface as well. So here's peacefully. the pa. Leave him alone. I think that's the only house in this whole village that we can actually go into. Had you pegged all wrong, stranger. Apparently, we got experience for talking to her just because. So, let's increase our. Should I increase my defense? I guess I should. I want to increase my survivability above all else right now. I guess it's time to start using up that wall chicken. But the, the question in terms of survivability is just, I don't know if the things that I am concerned about are actually affected by your defense. And if they're not, then it might actually make se more sense to go for HP, but... I think I'll just Ugh, stay the course for now. It's a pretty kitty cat. What, me? <gasps> it's a flying cat! <sighs> uh... She's not a cat. Little girl, she's a. Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, well, the hello. more you know. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met. Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something. It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry. Um, uh, what's your name? Smola. <laughs> Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, 
I want her. She talks. I'll train you. Look, I've got this box thing. Box, hey, look, huh? Look. That must be Reed's box. Hmm. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Those are big words for Maybe talking to a kid. And Rona had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! We never did feed Fidget, did we? Not that we know of, anyways. So there's a little more to Aurora Village here. This isn't Aurora Village, this is... Mud Pot. Right! That's what it's called. There's a little key there. Uh, there's this area down here that we can't reach quite yet. But perhaps more importantly, there's a whole slew of townspeople that we still have not met. And they're all up here. There's this old fella. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? That's the plan. Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. Apparently didn't do a very good job. Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red hmm. resonance jam. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself and then spike of rocks and thorns. I'll Wait, keep that in mind. A cave as a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella. What do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hidden stick? Your what? You don't have your hidden See, stick in your hand? I stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blob. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. I'm pretty sure he never actually said what his name was. Do you have something else to say? You don't find my stick? Apparently not. And in addition to that, we have this lady. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. How did you guess? Well, that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you, and it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless forever. I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. Oh no. I can always help you find some of that red moss if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave mud pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. So, I was uh, explaining on a previous episode how the ring... The ring of sight provides a little bit of light in the darkness. So we already have one of those, but now we have two. I don't think equipping more than one of them increases the light range or anything like that, though. 
It'll be interesting to find out, though. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the Magic. two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Of that course he did. did. And he wants us to find it. the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. Mm. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. So, we did see that one sheep on the way into town. Of course, we can't reach it quite yet, but it's there. And there is another one in there. But, of course, we can't reach this one either, because we cannot slide through there yet. But, obviously, being as we need the sliding ability to get through the path to the lady, we are going to be getting the ability to slide soon enough. And with that... Need a splody to get into there. But we do have this path up here. So, come up here. Well, there's one sheep. Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Apparently. Huh? What? Okay, then. Don't ask. Now, if you stand around here, you can hear, like, the jittering of a cage. You might recall earlier on we found that, uh... I forget who it was we found, but we found a friend in a cage. And it gave us a 5% health bonus. There's 12 of those through the game, and one of them is located around here. And like I said, you can tell because you can hear the jittering of the cage. But we're not going to be able to access it for a long time. So, be mindful that it's there, but don't worry about getting it quite yet. Treasure key. I should be, I think. Or no, actually. Never mind, ignore me. I'm... Thinking crazy thoughts. Actually, before I go down this way, I should probably point out the fact that oh, if we go up here, no, up, not down, up. All the way up here. Wasn't there a goblin? Uh, we can access the road map. So this is our way back out of town, and our way to access Aurora Village. So, on the world map, we now have access to the Hidden Cove, which is where, uh, what's his name, Mosca? Uh, is looking for his lady friend, Sarahi. Gihan's farm here is where he dropped his pocket watch. And this is the glade where we started the game. Uh, we can't do anything, I don't think, in any of those areas yet. So, oh well. Whoa, what the? I thought I entered Aurora Village. I guess I'm at the bottom of the well? I didn't think I could enter this part of the village. I thought I had to choose between the top and the bottom. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what to put it in, honestly. I think I'll just go another point in health and then another point in defense. As I explained previously, I'm very much trying to focus on my survivability at this point, rather than my damage output. My output's just fine. No, I failed! Oh my god. That's more like it. I guess I'm more out of practice with the trolks than I thought. But anyways, we do have the red resonance gem now, so we can use that to... Well, do that. 
And that teleports us back up to the village. One thing I want to do is... I mentioned previously how there is the one... There's like a little platform here, and I overshot it. How? Let's try that again. I really hate those trolls. And that that little smack in the back was incredibly cheap. There we go. Oh, that's another one of these guys. And a thing we can't open. Well, that was... Not really... Well, it might have... Might be worth the trip after all. I can use these to open that. I can drop down here, but do I have anything over here? Negative! But there are a couple keys here. So, how many keys do I have now then? Oh, I got four. I might as well open this up then. Yay! Another friend! And another 5% health bonus. Which at this point is still somewhat insignificant, but... What are you gonna do? And back up to town yet again! So, this episode's starting to run a little bit longer than I would like, but... At the same time... I would like to do uh, some, I don't know what you would call it, talk to some people for some quest-related business here in Aurora Village before I move on to the next area. So I know where Reed's box is now, but I can't do anything with it just yet. Uh, I don't have anything to do with her. However, I do want to talk to the shopkeeper here. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys? Or, more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. Uh. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Really? Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. That would be wonderful. Gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. I don't know you anymore. Ah, <laughs> excellent. You've brought all the materials. Would you like me to make the doll now? Uh, sure. I guess I just happen to have them all. If your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Huh? You're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. Done. A see masterpiece. I captured every nuanced curve. Uh... See, you can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Well, this is honest. Make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. He sure so quick. Ah, shut up and show me your wires. Nothing new. Nothing new. Do I have anything new to sell? I do not. 
but I do want to... I think I'm gonna want a couple more Trilk Fingers. I think. Anyways. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I believe we have the materials for fail. Are those materials you asked for fail? Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Again. One last job for you, Dust. There's a strange flying creature called a florn that lives around these parts. Can shoot balls of electricity from its tentacles. A real nasty customer. Mm -hmm. If you could gather three florn tentacles and three florn sparks, I can use them to reinforce our guards' armor and give their weapons a bit of an extra kick. I'll pay a premium for them that you won't get from the shops around here. Well, at least he's got plenty of money to throw around. So I definitely have the sparks cat or uh, what's it called cataloged. I don't know about the tentacles. I have the best. Uh, so sparks, I got two already. Yeah, I don't think I have any floor and tentacles, so I'll just have to keep an eye out for those. And I believe that is all the questing that needs to be done here in Aurora for the time being. Just double check. And, yeah, there, there's no one over here. So anyways, uh gonna leave it here for today on let's play dust and elysian tale and next time around we will head back bleh, we will head back to mud pond and continue on with things under the ground catch you later